present paper is on funicular structures using topological assemblies by Aisha Fida and Urvi Sheth. The research is inspired by the funicular structures by Block Research Group and Customizing Bricks by Urvi Sheth. There are two goals of this research. One, to achieve high speed and ease of assembling and dismantling the structure. To achieve this, a motorless construction system using topological assemblies and extra dose post tensioning is developed for funicular structures. Second goal is to optimize the cost of construction. Having understood various challenges for constructing curved geometry on site, which add to construction cost, the study focuses on minimizing scaffolding and limiting customization. Most present in this conference might be aware of topological assemblies. This is a quick run through for those who don't know about it. Topological assemblies are arrangements of kinematically constrained repetitive polyhedrons or osteomorphic blocks. As shown in this figure, from left to right, the middle tetrahedron is increasingly constrained in all directions. There are two types of arrangements. Arrangement of platonic solids is interlocked with the planar surfaces, while osteomorphic blocks have non-planar interlocking faces. Proposed module is based on the osteomorphic topological assembly. The design of the module is based on a sine-cosine trigonometric identity as shown. Zxy is equal to 0.5 h cos pi x by b sine pi y by b where b is less than or equal to x less than 3b, 0 less than or equal to y less than 2b and h is equal to b. Here Zxy determines the curve character of sides of the module and b is a variable value that determines the height of the block. The curves on the top face of the module are the mirror of the curves on the bottom face. This makes the geometry bilaterally symmetrical along the central axis. Thus, when rotated as shown, the non-planar surfaces of the rotating module matches with the original module. To cater to the required curvature of the forms, the assembly pattern introduces special modules responding to a range of angles called angle spacers. In order to limit customization, the assembly consists of alternate standard and customized modules. The base module, the keystone and the angle spacers require customization depending upon the curvature. The modules were assembled into a simple catenary arch, a funicular barrel vault, a funicular vault with two parallel supports and a funicular vault with four linear supports. The size of the module can vary based on the span and rise or curvature of the surface. To find optimum size of the module for 300 cm span and rise, three proportionately scaled iterations of the modules were worked out. 10 cm by 10 cm by 5 cm, 15 cm by 15 cm by 7.5 cm and 20 cm by 20 cm by 10 cm. Scan and Solve plugin to Rhinoceros 5.0 is used for structural simulations. Total displacement and principal compression and tension were analyzed under self-weight. It was observed that total displacement in all the three cases was negligible. Therefore, it is not considered while determining the size. Principal compression and tension was achieved safe with module 3. 20 cm by 20 cm by 10 cm for 300 cm span and height of up to 150 cm. Hence, module 3 of size 20 cm by 20 cm by 10 cm was used for further research. Catenary arches and funicular barrel walls of span 300 cm and varying heights were simulated using module size 20 cm by 20 cm by 10 cm. It was observed that the height of the structure should be less than 3 fourth of the span for catenary arch and for funicular barrel vault, rise of the structure should be equal to or less than half of the span. 
Similar simulations were done for funicular forms with two parallel supports by varying heights for a span of 300 cm. Increase in heights creates gaps between the modules, leading to the failure of the structure. Therefore, further simulations were done by filling these gaps for a range of span 300 cm to 450 cm and rise 75 cm to 225 cm for funicular walls with four linear supports. After this, performance of the structure improved. Filler material is yet to be decided. Two methods of construction were visualized. One with minimum foam work and the other without foam work. Construction method one. With this logic, scaffolding is required only to assemble the first catenary arch in its position. This is because it is assembled by staggering of modules which create a pocket for the next block and ensures interlocking. And the assembly is then kinematically constrained with the tension cable fixed at its base. The scaffolding can then be removed and the next rows of arches can be assembled without scaffolding. Following rows of assembly can be repeated in the same sequence as first one without scaffolding. Construction method 2. Here, we begin by drawing a catenary arch on the ground along which modules are assembled as shown in the video and following images to build first arch. It is kinematically constrained with the tension cables before the next layers are assembled. The process is repeated for successive layers. On completion of the required number of layers, entire assembly is turned vertical and placed in its position with the help of a crane or a mechanical system. For symmetrical form having a square plan and four linear support, the assembly begins from the outer edge having two parallel supports for the first arch. Modules are staggered and the first arch requires scaffolding. The rest can be assembled without continuous scaffolding. Supports can be provided at strategic locations. Conclusion The construction system is dry construction for symmetrical funicular forms using topological assemblies. It is self-supporting and uses minimum scaffolding for erection. Extra dose post-tensioning makes the system robust that it can also withstand lateral loads and vertical upliftment. The modules can be assembled and dismantled as required and transported to various locations. Cost of construction and time are optimized by limiting customization, minimizing on scaffolding and avoiding layers of construction as compared with the Catlin tile vaulting. Customization is reduced up to 68% for barrel walls and 45 to 55% for symmetrical funicular forms. There are two aspects in which we are taking this research further. One, choice of material. M20 concrete, burnt clay and fly ash are chosen as test cases. The choice is based on required compressive strength of the module and local availability of materials. First prototypes are made in M20 concrete. All four types of the blocks, standard block, angle spacer, base block and keystone. The structural test, handling and prototyping full scale structure is an ongoing research. Second is to find application of these blocks and construction system for asymmetrical walls. Thank you.